I want to take just a couple of minutes to talk about a conspiracy theory that is uh, gaining some traction around flight uh, 370, Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. And we haven't talked about this at all. We haven't even talked about the plane for, for weeks. I know some networks are still doing wall to wall coverage of the plane. The concept is that Malaysian Airlines flight uh, 370, which disappeared over the South China Sea back on uh, March 8th, may have all been a setup from Jacob Rothschild because he wanted to bump off some patent holders so he could presumably make a bunch of money. So the hypothesis claims that Freescale Semiconductors was working on a project to make factories in Asia more efficient. And four days after the flight disappeared, there was a patent issued for a new semiconductor technology, and the license was awarded to five parties. Freestyle Semiconductor was a one fifth shareholder in that patent, and four other Chinese employees of the company were each holders of 20 percent. And uh, the specific individuals are Pai Dong Wang, Zijun Chen, Zihang Cheng, and Li Ying. These are supposedly the, the four uh, patent holders. If the four individuals die, supposedly, the sole shareholder remaining would be Freescale Semiconductor, which is owned supposedly by the infamous Jacob Rothschild. The implication being, of course, that Jacob Rothschild somehow planned to have the plane taken down, killing 200 people in order to bump off these four individuals, which would then give him 100 percent control of this patent. There are some serious problems with this conspiracy theory at every level. For starters, it's not even clear that the four men referred to as patent holders were even on that flight. If you look at the passenger flight man, the, the flight passenger manifest, their names aren't there. We're linking to that in the YouTube video of this clip. Uh, now, if it's possible that they were there under different names for some weird reason, we can kind of continue with the conspiracy theory. Let's say they were all on the plane, but for some reason, all under different names. The patent in question is indeed dated March 11th, and it involves a system for optimizing the number of dyes produced on a wafer. It doesn't really sound like that much of a blockbuster patent. It seems like one of these marginal improvements to existing technology, it doesn't necessarily connect to this huge potential for profit, as the conspiracy theorist would have us believe. Let's further go and say, well, OK, hold on a second. Jacob Rothschild, he has so many business interests. He's 78 years old. Tomorrow is his birthday, and he has a net worth of five billion dollars. It seems incredibly dumb and short sighted to take down an entire plane killing 200 people to eke out a little more money from one patent. But let's go even further. Even if the people in question were on the plane, of course, under different names, and Jacob Rothschild was dumb enough to have an entire plane taken down to take sole control of this patent, the men listed are not actually the patent holders. They're the inventors and applicants. It's common that they signed the patent application, but the entire patent has been assigned to Freescale Semiconductor based in Austin, Texas. So the entire thing is ridiculous because Jacob Rothschild wouldn't even need to have these guys killed to have all of the profit. And lastly, we don't actually have evidence that even if Lewis, the men were on the plane under different names and in spite of what we believe they were the patent holders, there is no guarantee that if the patent holders die before the patent is approved, all of their interests go to the remaining patent holders. It's possible, as is the case with some patents, that the heirs of the individual patent holder would get their share. The entire story is absolutely ridiculous. And I get an email a day asking why I'm not covering the story, because it's so such a good theory. Right. It just seems far fetched and it doesn't make sense. And how do you convince the pilots or whoever was involved uh, to, to even take down this plane? Um, it, it just it wouldn't be worth it. it and there is one last it. thing, Lewis. Finally, although the Rothschild name is connected with Freescale Semiconductor, Freescale is a public company whose stock is held by 152 different institutional shareholders. The Blackstone Group is a member of the company's advisory board and Jacob Rothschild is uh, uh, the is a member of that board. So even if everything else were true, 
it still doesn't totally link back to Rothschild. Right. Uh, with conspiracy theories like this, I like to think to myself, well, what is at stake? So when you, when you talk to 9-11 conspiracy theorists, uh, you say, what is at stake? Well, oil, a world-changing war, um, it basically a, a lot. And so that's why, you know, that might make a little more sense to have conspiracy theories about right. that. If you want to play, what you're saying, Lewis, is if you want to play the motive game alone, we at least have stronger motive with 9-11 conspiracies. But with this, we don't. Right, right. This is just a little too outrageous. All right, let's take a break. We will talk to Abby Lane next. She wants to write a particular article for her school's newspaper. She's not being allowed to do it. Why not? What's the topic? That's up next. This program is supported directly by you. Please go to davidpackman.com slash membership to become a supporter today and get a whole bunch of great member benefits while doing it.